Hello everyone, welcome to our Friday program. Now today is a virtual. Last week we had our first in person, which turned out great. We had several there. So I was tickled to see everybody. We made pool noodle airplanes. So it's super, super fun. I'm glad everybody that showed up. So today is our, a virtual one and we're gonna make a CD hovercraft. But before we get into that, I wanna go and um, go ahead and go over at April. Well, I kind of go over each time, or I try to remember to go over each time, uh, what we're gonna have go throughout the month, okay? Just to kind of reminders and maybe some will jog your memory and that, you, that way you wanna attend it or not. Um, we won't have nothing on uh, Friday the 2nd. Well, if I may put a puzzle up or something like that, because we are closed for um, Good Friday. So I may just put up a puzzle, an Easter puzzle or something like that. So you can watch for that. There will not be a virtual program on that day, but I'll post something for something. I will post something for you all that day, okay? Uh, the 9th, we're going to um, be doing virtually, of course potato egg stamping so watch for that kind of goes along with the easter thing so kind of backtracking a little bit on that and so we're going to be doing some stuff with potatoes but we're going to be doing the shape of an egg so watch for that now back up just a bit so if there's any teens watching we're going to do another escape room so watch for the hunger games escape room so that'll be, link will be posted so you can try to get, escape that room. So keep a watch for it. It's kind of like the Jumanji one, Jumanji, that I had posted about a month or so ago. So keep a watch for that. Um, the 16th, now I will tell you, for our Friday programs, we are starting to do in person. Of course, right now it's only one a month. Um, and the rest of them are gonna be virtual. But it'll be every third Friday at two o'clock central time and it'll be in the community center out uh, behind the library um we've got a bigger space there so we can be able to, uh, we're able to spread out that week is actually we're celebrating national wildlife week and it kind of goes they're celebrating um how to help like with endangered species and stuff like how what you can do to help with that and so that week is National Wildlife Week. So we're gonna be making wildlife animals with our hands. Now for that one, you may, cause we're gonna be using paint. So be careful. If you wanna wear older clothes, if you don't wanna get paint on your good clothes, you may wanna wear something a little bit different. You may wanna wear your painting clothes for that. So nothing, you don't wanna get paint on your clothes. Um, so that'll be at two o'clock in person at the community center behind the library. So that is what we're doing on the 16th. 16th in person, two o'clock at the community center behind the library. You must register for that one, okay? That way I've got enough supplies and I know how many I signed up because we're only limited space. So uh, call and register your child for that. Um, the 23rd, excuse me, is National Picnic Day. So we're going to make P, B, and J skewers. And it's something that you can take on a picnic. Super easy to make. A child can make it. And it's kind of one to go toward. It's for the kids that know, um, they can put something together for their picnic. So we're going to make P, B, and J skewers. So watch for that one. And then um, the 26th, it's an adult one, but I'm going to go ahead and reach it out for anybody. National Pretzel Day. So if you love pretzels, we're going to be learning how to make homemade pretzels that day. So keep a watch for that one. And then the 30th on that Friday, it's our National Hairstylist Day. So if you go see your barber or your or a hairstylist, um, celebrate them. And that day we're going to be making um, fork painted silly hair. We're going to make silly hair with fork. So watch for that. And then that night, um, if you're not a part of our trivia night, um, we did one last month of Disney and then, um, today is actually what we're going to be doing, um, Harry Potter. So watch for that at six and then, uh, in April, it will be about music and it's going to be about anything, um, genre wise and 
anything from movies to it's, it's, it's gonna be a wide range so um it could be an individual thing or you can do it as a family but it's always at six o'clock every friday uh last friday of the month and then at six o'clock p.m so that's kind of what's going on in april um for the adults that may watch it um uh, we're going to have the in-person adult program on the 12th at 10. And you have to register for that one. It's going to be stream nail art. We're going to be doing that. Uh, and then there will be a puzzle going one up about spring potting on the 19th. And, of course, the National Pretzel Day. So, watch out for those. Now, let's get into our activity for today. We're going to be making a hover, uh, CD hoverboard, okay? So let's see if this works. Now, this is kind of an experiment, so it may work and it may not. You have to tweak it to see if you can get it or not. When you look at the reviews on this, some people say, oh, it was a bust. Then, and then some people say, well, I had to tweak it a little bit to get it figured out. Well, I've kind of worked it on a way. I may not be able to tweak it because it will take a while. But I have um, got what I think it will work with, so we'll see if it works or not. If not, try this at home and see if yours works. All you need is a CD. This one's just a blank CD. You can use, uh, if you've got old CDs or DVDs or whatever that's scratched up, can't play no more, those will work perfect too. This is just a blank CD that uh, I've got. Then you need a bottle cap. And I've got this, so. And then a balloon. You need a balloon. Now. That's all you need. Well, and a glue, a glue gun. You need a glue gun. So, um, other than that, you're good to go. So, what you need to do first, and I've already done it, is you need to, I don't know if you can tell or not, you can kind of see, but you need to poke holes in your bottle cap. Now, what they say is to use a thumbtack. I didn't have one right on me right now, excuse me. So I used a nail and I hammered some holes in it. And I hammered several, actually I put several holes in the lid. Excuse me. And so um, the more you have the better. And then some, I've made some small and then there's some that are pretty good size. So what we're going to do is you're gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of your lid. all the way around the edges and then you're going to set it right on top of the hole of the CD okay and try to make it as even as possible and if it don't stick you can add a little bit more around it to keep it that way it'll hold okay and you don't need a whole lot, just you can do a couple of drops or a dabs, just enough to make sure it holds, okay? Okay, just like so. So you gotta look like a uh, alien ship, spaceship. Brrr. Okay, <laughs> so once we let that dry real quick, now this is where the fun part continues, okay? Now, this is what's gonna take your breath, okay, adults? So get ready. Now, kids, if you can do this, you go right ahead, okay? But adult says you may get tired of blowing these up. And anyway, that's what makes it fun. Let me make sure this is all dry. Because you definitely want to make sure your your glue is dry, okay? Now you're gonna to want to blow up your balloon. Took my hair out just for that one. Okay. Now twist it. That way your air don't escape and it makes it a little bit easier. Now this is probably besides the hot gluing for the adults, okay? You definitely want help with this, kids, because you don't want it. It's kind of hard to do. You're going to... After you get it twisted, you're gonna to try to stretch this over top of your top, okay? Like I said, this is the difficult part because you don't want your air out. Oh, I lost you there. There, we're back on. <laughs> okay. 
I shake it at the table too much. Just stretch out. Like I said, this is the hard part. is getting it to stay on. Yep. And you wanna be careful, cause like mine just ripped. So, let's see here. Let me get it back up here. This would be like a two person. <laughs> it's hard to get on. Hey, if you know a better way to do this, then I would definitely go the route that you know, because this is hard. Let me pause this real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I had to get the... Other one back, another one back on, okay? Now, once you get it on, as you can see, this is the hard part. So it will take an adult to try this, okay? So once you get it on on the bottom, and I've got it kind of twisted. I don't know if you can see or not. There we go. So once I let it get it untwisted, it's gonna start hovering, or hopefully it will. So we'll see how this goes. So let's get it untwisted. You can kind of keep you, it's kind of twisting a little bit. And if you pick it up, you can kind of feel the air. What I probably need to do is that add more holes, make my holes bigger. But it is kind of moving it a little bit. So, let's see if we can get a little bit more air. I probably need to poke bigger holes in mine to make it really, really work. But that is kind of like the object of a design. It's, of course, it's an experiment, so you just have to try and take get it, okay? Like I said, I think mine, I'm gonna have to have bigger holes than what it is, and then to, um, to make it go, to really fly around, okay? So, but this is a, I'd um, encourage you to try it at home, and don't take much, you know, it's just a CD, a bottle, uh, top from a bottle, and then a balloon, that's it. So, super, super simple, and you can recycle. So, until next time, we will see you all then, okay? You all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.